Welcome back to Starfield. We're here on the planet Obo Rum 3, and we encountered the. Oh crap! <laughs> we encountered the. Stop going fast! Slow it down. All right. Anyway, we encountered the hunter and the emissary, and we're boarding their ship now to talk to them. They invited us on the ship. And I agreed to go on the ship and talk to him. Remember, we got attacked by the hunter at Constellation. So. And also the hunter and the Starborn, they killed Sarah. So. And we don't know what to expect here. This is our first time on a Starborn ship, too. Not really much here, honestly. Hello again. <laughs> nice to meet you, Django Fett. Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? What the fuck? There's... <laughs> There's some creepy shit going down. Sarah, it can't be you. I saw you die. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's some sort of, kind of illusion or something. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the hunter. One of me, at least. What? What the fuck? I died? Or is it like, this is a trick, right? He's obviously just saying this to like... Trick us, right? I guess we'll see what's going to happen. This is getting crazy. I collected the remaining artifacts. And they opened the way to the center of my universe and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. 
It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. They are all connected. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? It means I've seen thousands of universes, collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Between all three of us, give you some time to think over which approach to the Unity is the one you want. Mine, or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. All right, so we have to talk to the emissary who's Sarah, and then, well, another version of Sarah, not the same Sarah. Um, and then Aquilus is the other, or whatever the other person's name is. So is there anything on the ship? It's a pretty basic ship, man. There's not even nothing here. I'm gonna talk to her. Remember that. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version, but so much of you stays the same. It's hard. 
but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion. Or is it testing us? The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. They enter the unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter, but the unity itself doesn't judge. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own, that's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary. To decide what to do about you. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. <laughs> no end up having this meeting at this time but it's the usual affair can we make peace no oh how tragic honestly i was beginning to wonder why i kept tending and it's bad habit i started a long time ago perhaps i just like meeting the emissary to gloat <laughs> provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Okay. <laughs> Shit's weird. We got Sarah, who's the emissary. Well, another version of Sarah, or whatever, and then yeah, shit's just weird. There's like m different versions of everybody, I guess, or cer or certain people have different versions of themselves. What the hell? Who the hell? Oh, sorry. I want to give you something, a way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, 
to open the way. Yes, I will say no more. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Final glimpses. That sounds like it's nearing the end. Should return to the lodge. Okay, we leveled up as well. Okay. Alright, we'll return to Constellation then. And this shit is like bonkers. Like multiple different versions of everybody, or certain people I mean. And um, like who is this game created by? Tetsuya Nomura? It's like some freaking Kingdom Hearts shit. Or it's like multiple different Soras and shit. I've lost count of how many swords are in Kingdom Hearts. I mainly say it as a joke, but kind of accurate. I know there's at least three Soras. Sarah Morgan's outfit. Back to the lodge then. We gotta undock first. Back to the Alpha Centauri. And then the Jiminson into the lodge. Back to the lodge for like the hundredth time. Or probably even more than that. Will we be stopping for food? I would not mind trying something, and there are plenty of options. Huh. Yeah. As long as I get to bang you afterwards. Still getting used to this place. It does not quite feel like home, but hopefully someday. There needs to be a bigger word than thanks. More than gratitude. And whatever that word is, I feel that way towards you. I'd be dead. 
flat out dead if it weren't for you. You and me both. Truly. I gotta ask. Why me? It was an impossible situation. And if it's wrong to ask, sorry, but... It's gonna keep me up at night. Sarah Morgan was our leader. She held everything together. I just... I just don't know if I'd pick me over her. You know, I will say this. It's weird to, like, kill off a character and then just make another version of that character, of that same character. It's like... <laughs> this is... It feels so weird, you know? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I, I just find that very weird. Anyway, we continue here. This is uh, an event with Sam Coe. I had to. I, I was supposed to talk to him before, but I didn't. But we're gonna talk. To, we're talking to him now. So. I'd like to think you're lost, looking into my baby blues. Wow, I. It's speechless. <laughs> Words, for my sake. For Cora's sake. Thank you. How are you holding up? Are you okay? Whew. I wish I could focus like that. That hunter bastard's gotta pay. Pay big time. I don't care if he's starborn and indestructible, we need to figure out a way to take him down. Nobody messes with my family like that. Just bring me along when you do. This is personal. I just want you to know, I'm here for you. The only way we're gonna get through this is if we all lean on each other. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but it's silly, but I can't stop thinking about the idea that there are more of me out there. Even just one more Noel is crazy to consider, but Dozens? Hundreds? An infinite number of them? How different might they, m might we all be? Am I not even remotely the unique individual I thought I was? My head is spinning just considering it. Well, I'm glad you seem so certain of that. I'll admit, I'm not that sure. At all. Stay safe, okay? I'm expecting big things from you with this ship. Counter to everything I've said and believed before. I've caught myself wondering if we ever should have started this search. If this is all true, and I have it right, We've potentially started a chain of events that will create more of these Starborn. Or worse, enable the ones we've seen to become even stronger. I am not fond of either of those options. So maybe now we have no choice but to finish this journey before one of them does. I know. I know. I've said yeah. as much before. Want to hear a joke? Look. Uh, sure. Let's I don't like you. the idea of siding with either one of these groups. I'd much rather see someone okay. from Constellation Who get there first. I trust no any of us far more oh. than these Starborn. I don't know. Who? Everybody! Until next time. Skyscrapers can't jump! Anything I can help you with, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> yes? <laughs> See you later. You're Good handling one. this Cora. whole captain thing really well. Hey, next you time know. you see Barrett, try it out on him. Okay, then. 
This is all exciting, but I, I thought I had a grip on the situation. I'm not so sure anymore. The Sanctum Universum believes that God wanted us to travel the stars. That's gotten us here. I is this... Could this be the next step in that journey? Is this what we were meant to learn out here? Could the unity... Could that be God? Or a, a way to reach him? Oh yeah? That would be something, no question. The one thing I'm sure of is that we have to see this through. We need to find the rest of the artifacts. Take care of yourself. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Hate to be the responsible one, but the big bombshell of what we're actually building here might need another second to sink in. Wanna go over this whole multiple universe thing for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Explains why the Starborn want the artifacts so bad. Get them all, and you've got a gateway to infinity. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the Hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. You know it. Now once everyone's head stops spinning from all of this, we can get back to work. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Aye. The Blackest Sea seems less of a concern when there are sharks leaping out at you. Catch a smile out there. We don't need these powers and everything because I stopped doing these. We have like three of them to do. And then final glimpses. I guess we have to do all these right here, right? We have to do final glimpses and this one. I guess I'll do these first Freya 3 and Miatha. We'll go to whichever one's closer, I guess. Should be Valo or whatever. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship.
Yep, this is me at the, okay. Let me go head to the abandoned mine. Another abandoned mine. This is like the third one we've been in. Third or fourth. Something like that. Okay, there's just resources here and uh, one of those question mark things. Was a way too low level. That is a little bit higher level. Watch out! Where do you explode at? I guess I'll go in this building first. Got the damn cred stick. Ugh. Get it at a right angle. 
Is this fucking computer? You found a target, and the target killed you, so... I got 24 med packs, that's plenty. Oh, okay. It's just turret, stupid turret controls, which don't matter. Industrial workbench. Alright, let's settle into the mine. Yep, this is one one of the ones we've already explored before. Explosives warning. Please, please, please put all explosives in the storage. Those things are highly volatile and can blow up if put under too much stress, obviously. Explosives can blow up, guys. Who knew, right? Increases tool grip weapon damage by an additional two percent.
stolen sandwich. Who stole my ham boy? Damn you, I was looking forward to eating it. I even doctored it up by adding my last century egg and some kasu marzu to it. Yeah, I can't stand that. People eat, eating other people's food. It's kind of messed up. I'd be upset too. Grilled cheese sandwich. so deep into this game and I'm only level 30 and there's 300 levels that you have to gain kind of nuts it's a very in very in-depth RPG which is what I love so I'm not complaining I'd rather work for my levels up then have them just hand it to me. But you can't make the beer fall out and then grab it. Damage from explosives. Increases the range for enemy detection on the compass. Okay. Did you pick again? It's been a while since I did this. Because I haven't played this game in a long time. Until recently. Actually kind of fun to do this. Nice, got it.
minor jumpsuit. Makes sense that, that would be here. Have anything of value? Dark with Andreja, okay. I can advance her storyline some, but I'll do that later. Not in this episode. Twenty seven med packs now, four trauma packs now. Well, Bugged. There we go. I don't know what this stuff's used for, but I just grab it anyway. This stuff has to be useful though, because They give you so much of it. Remember those artifacts.
Alright, I'm good to go ahead and get the artifact now. Okay. Artifact Omicron. I get another one of those visions again. Be prepared. Epilep epilepsy, epilepsy warning. At this point, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to go make my way back to the ship off screen. And at the start of the next episode, I'll be... Um, I'll be back at the ship. So yeah, thanks for watching. Later. Make sure to like this video. All right, so she has some dialogue here. I'll do this before I end. It is all simply too much. I was trying to trade her gear, but then she started talking, so. All right, so more dialogue with Indredja. Does it? Perhaps you find all this satisfactory, but I am afraid I do not. We must take the word of a murderer and follow him into the unity? What if it does nothing the Starborn have claimed? I... I do not know how to respond. I understand what you are trying to say, but I just cannot feel the same way. When we started this mission, we had no idea where it would lead. That we would lose people along the way. If we had known, would we still have been so keen to get here? Even if everything the Starborn have said is true. If you pass into this unity and come out in... in some other universe. Look at who they are. At what they have become. They have the faces and voices. Of people you know, but are nothing like them. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? Now you sound like Sarah, but you are not wrong. I will do my best to assume the best, but you cannot blame me for preparing for the worst. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there is no time to waste. Hello. Need to see what I'm... Hmm. All right, well... Now in the video, she can't hold enough to get my over encumberedness to go away. I just ah, got to find my way out of here. Yes, we are done. I got kind of lost. I fought some more enemies after I ended the originally ended the episode. Um, but yeah, I'll find my way out of here, and I'll be right. I'll end the video here now, though. Thanks for watching. Later.